Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all still staying safe at home and keeping well. In today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a really exciting product that I just received in the post today. And um, I'm gonna, yeah, show you guys the product. We're gonna run through it, tell you guys the details about it, and then I'm gonna kind of use the product to give you guys my thoughts of my first time use. And today we're gonna be looking at the Filter by Molly May Fake Tanning Range. Stay tuned. So Filter by Molly May is uh, Molly May Hague's um, brand new fake tanning range. Um, I believe it's been out for a few months now. Uh, originally they did only do um, a dark and extra dark shade in the fake tan, um, like a tanning mousse, and then they have a mini mitt and a large mitt. Um, but they recently, last week, just launched the new medium shade. So I've decided to purchase the medium shade along with both of the mitts, and I'll show you guys um, all of that in a moment. But the reason I've personally decided to go for the medium shade is because obviously I'm a guy, I don't normally uh, fake tan. Um, when I have fake tanned recently, I've just used the Bondi Sands uh, Men Everyday Gradual Tanning Foam, which is really good, you know, it doesn't really smell fake tanny, it's got a really nice actually like masculine smell to it, it's just an easy foam, you can actually put it on with your hands as well if you want to, to rub it in. But for me personally, I feel like it takes quite a few uses for it to build up to like a nice tan colour, but I'm always quite nervous myself to use proper um, tanning foams because I'm, like I said, I'm not used to using fake tans, I don't normally use them, and I think as a guy, um, the tone in the tan should be slightly different to what a female would use. So I'd rather my tan be slightly more of a subtle kind of tone. I don't want it to go too deep, I don't want it to be any orangey or anything like that. So, um, yeah. So I'm actually mixed race myself. Um, I am obviously British, but I'm part Caribbean as well, for those of you that don't know. So I do tan quite naturally in the sun anyway on my skin. Um, like my tone at the moment isn't actually my normal sort of pale skin colour. I have been sitting out in my garden for the last couple of weeks. It's been really nice. So I have got a little bit of colour to me already. Um, so obviously I'm going to be applying the tan on top of that. Um, and just seeing kind of how it comes out. But yeah, I've chosen the medium tan just so that I can get a nice kind of subtle glow from it, not anything too, like I said, like orangey or anything, because it kind of scares me like that. But if I don't feel like it's dark enough, then obviously next time I can try the dark and just see how I go from there. But yeah, so I've decided to go for the medium. Gonna try that today and just see how it works. So like I said, guys, this is the box filtered by Molly May. And inside, you've got the kind of brand logo inside the packaging there, which is really nice touch. And um, you get this little card from Molly May that just has like a thank you note on the back for ordering from her store, and just a little bit about the products, which is really nice. And then here is the um, large mitt. One thing I will say when I first opened this, and I'd seen sort of other reviews online, is I'm really, really impressed with the packaging from this brand. Um, the packaging is very premium, it's not um, your ordinary kind of tanning packaging that I've um, noticed before. Even the mitts are in these really nice sort of plastic uh, zippy bags, so you can just pop it back in there um, and reuse these little bags, which is really nice. So very, very pleased with the packaging. So yeah, this is the large mitt. It's a velvet mitt and it's um, the colour of the mitt matches the kind of colour of the logo which I really like because it just keeps it all kind of fine-tuned together. And also, I've seen in other reviews, the light mitt is um, good because you can see how much tan is on the mitt, rather than if you use like a black mitt, it's quite difficult to see um, sort of how much product you've got on there. So looking forward to testing that out. I've also got here the um, mini mitt, which is again in one of the little plastic uh, kind of zippy bags. And um, this one is used, you just pop a couple of fingers in there and just... That sounds so bad. <laughs> Where was I? And next I've just got here the mini mitt. So again, this one's in one of the little plastic zippy bags here. And this one is used for sort of tanning your face and hands and feet and those sorts of areas. You just uh, it's not obviously big enough to put your hand in, you just put um, a couple of fingers in and um, yeah. But again, it's the uh, same colour, velvet mitt, that sort of thing. Um, and then next up we've got the tan. 
So the tan actually comes in this sort of cylinder box here, which again, like I was just saying, really impressed with the packaging. I've never seen um, a fake tan brand before that uh, put their products in a packaging like this, which I think is really nice. Um, again, if you wanted to reuse this, you can pop the um, fake tanning bottle back in here when you're finished using it. Um, I know I probably will, just because why not? Um, but yeah, really impressed with the packaging. I did see Molly Mae's vlog when she was creating this brand, saying that she wanted it to have a really premium feel, and it definitely does. I love that it's very neutral colours on the sort of um, colour range for the brand and everything. It just looks really premium, really professional, and really classy. So inside you've got the fake tan bottle here so again it's just following the same sort of color theme this again like i said is the medium shade so filter by molly may in the medium so i've just prepped my skin in the shower and i've prepped my skin using the kylie skin uh, coconut body scrub you can see that there um, I absolutely love this scrub, it's really amazing, like I said to you guys before in my Kylie Skin um, review. It's a really good exfoliant scrub, so I've just used that on my body. I've also used my Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash and my Kylie Skin Walnut Face Scrub just to exfoliate my face. And then I've also applied the Kylie Skin Coconut Body Lotion just to the dry areas of my body. So that's hands, elbows, knees, and um, ankles and feet just so that the tan doesn't kind of grip to those areas and look kind of odd or give any streaks or marks or anything like that because my mum is a um yeah my mum's like a religious tanner she tans all the time so she's got really good tips that she's gave me for tanning one thing she said is to moisturize the dry areas of your body um her tan always looks streak free really even so i'm gonna take those tips um and yeah give it a go Okay guys, so it says here, the ultimate real life filter, which is obviously the reason behind the name. So Molly Mae was saying she wants it to be like, so you don't have to like put a filter on your picture or anything because your skin tone will be like the real life filter, which is a really genius idea. Um, it says, um, easy to apply, fast absorbing mousse, gives you a flawless, long lasting natural looking tan. Filter by Molly Mae Italian mousse is enriched with natural oils, aloe vera and green tea to moisturize. Uh, whilst giving you a perfectly filtered, golden, streak-free, streak -free, glow to your skin. Um, directions. For the best glow, shake well and apply generous amount directly to the desired area. Um, I've seen other reviews and people always um, have been saying they don't normally um, apply the tan directly to the area. They will always put it on the mitt first and kind of rub it in. So I'm going to do that because it does make me feel a bit uncomfortable putting it straight on my body, just in case. So I'm going to pop it on the mitt and then um, kind of rub it on the area that I'm going to pop it on first. Um, best results to use Fidge by Body Bay Velvet Tanning Mitt. Working product on skin and circular motions until fully absorbed. Use sparingly on knees, ankles, and elbows. For facial tanning, we recommend the Fidge by Body Bay Million Mini Velvet Tanning Mitt. Uh, wash hands immediately after any application. Again, this one. So I've seen people saying that they don't ever wash their hands after a tanning application normally. Um, I probably will, just because like I was saying a minute ago, I don't want it to look too false on me personally. And I want it to look super natural, like a really nice, subtle summer glow as if I've been on holiday, just to go on top of the tan that I sort of already started. So I probably will just set blends from my arms into my hands. I don't want in between my fingers to be like too much of a contrast and go like funny or anything like that, because I've seen girls with it like that before and it looks shocking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then it says, yeah, so wash hands immediately after application, wait 10 minutes after applying product before dressing. Um, formula is fast, dry and lightweight, however, we're, we recommend allowing 4 to 10 hours for a tan to fully develop. Uh, for the deepest tan, reapply filter by Molly May one hour after the first application for a healthy sun touch glow all year round. So this is another one. Uh, I've seen other reviews on YouTube and um, most of the reviewers were using the tan twice, so just like it said in the bottle, for the best results, um, do one application, wait an hour, and do another application. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to film my whole application right now for you guys, but I'll film a little bit, just pop a bit on my arm so you can see. And then I'll go away, pop the rest of the tan on, I'll get my mum to help me do my back and stuff. And then I'll wait an hour, do it again. And then as it develops, I'll just film it, show you guys uh, my thoughts as the colours developing. I'm going to sleep in it tonight and then I'll continue um, my video tomorrow for you guys so you can see what the colours like in the morning and once I've washed it off and all that kind of stuff. Um, it also says in here, obviously once it's open, store below 15 degrees Celsius um, and for best use, store it in a fridge. So I'm definitely going to do that. I'll keep it in the fridge after this use. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention for you, um, to you guys, um, that's obviously different with myself using this. Most of the reviews I've seen are obviously of you ladies out there that tan using this product. I haven't actually seen a review on YouTube yet of a guy using this. So I might be the first one, the first review of a guy using Filter by Molly May. But obviously just a few things that I've got to personally think about myself that you ladies that tan out there don't need to think about is obviously like um, blending the tan into my beard um, because obviously I don't want it to just look really streaky and odd and uneven around where my facial hair is. So I've got to sort of seamlessly blend that in there. I've also got to blend it in with my fade here on my head, my shaven head because obviously I don't want to just tan my face, tan my neck and leave my head where it's shaved because I'll have a white head. So I've got to blend that up in there as well. Um, so I'm not going to pump loads of new product on for those bits. What I'll do is just use whatever's left on the mitt and sort of just blend it up just so it sort of fades up and looks a bit more seamless. Um, because like I said, I don't want to have just like really odd looking false like back of my head or anything like that. I want it to look as natural as possible, like it's a real tan. So I've took the large mitt out of the packaging and it's got the uh, Filter by Molly May logo on both sides. It actually feels really nice, really good quality product. And um, the only thing is the wrist area is really tight, which is good in some ways, obviously, because it's not gonna kind of go inside the mitt, but it is so tight for me to put on personally. Um, so I'm gonna, 100% leave my hands until last because what I'd hate to do is tan one hand, switch the mitt over and because it's so tight to get on, it would kind of cause marks and stuff to my skin. So I'm gonna tan the rest of me and then um, I'll do my hands last or I'll get my mum to help with my hands or something just because of the tightness around my wrist of the mitt. So I'm just shaking the product now, ready to just use a little bit on my arm for you guys. Wow, that smells really nice actually. It doesn't have that biscuity fake tan smell. Kind of smells really perfumed, but you can see it's sort of melting into the mitt, which is a bit weird, but I'm gonna rub that into my arm now. As you can see, the color is really natural on this one actually. Almost looks like it's actually still the same. Oh, you can see a slight difference there. So they're probably going to be more of a difference once I've applied the second layer. But again, this is the first time I've used this product, so I'm not obviously sure what the colours do come out like. So I'm going to test out this medium. And if I do end up feeling like it is a little bit too light for my skin, then I'll go and order the dark from her website and test that one out instead. Um, but yeah, obviously going in blind, I wanted to test out the medium just to make sure it was a nice natural shade. And I definitely think it's going to be that. I think this is actually going to look really nice and really subtle. So yeah, I've just applied a bit to this arm. And I'm gonna go away now and do the rest of my body and I'll come back and show you guys after. Okay guys, so I've just popped the first application on. Uh, obviously it's a little bit lighter than it is in person under the ring light. Um, but it is looking quite a nice color. It's a really nice sort of subtle glow at the moment. Um, I'm, I am gonna do the second application in an hour. So I'm gonna go have my dinner now, sit down, wait for this to just dry a little bit. And then in an hour's time, I'll pop back and pop the second application on. And then, like I said, I'll come back and show you guys after I've done that. And then, obviously, sleep in it, let it develop overnight. And then I'll show you guys um, updated in the morning when I go up what the colour looks like. Hi, guys. So, it's now been an hour since I've applied the first layer of the Filter by Molly Mate Tan. So, I'm now going to go in and apply a second layer. Here's the mitt on. So, yeah, I'm now going to go in and apply a second layer all over my body and um, let that develop. Uh, oh, yeah, I also wanted to say... Um, I didn't apply any deodorant before tanning either because I'd seen videos saying um, people that wear deodorant when they tan it goes green. So I took that tip, didn't apply any deodorant. 
And I also just wanted to say, um, just to Molly May, if she is watching, that I'm so sorry to hear about her little puppy Chai. Um, he was such an adorable little dog that she got for her birthday and he did sadly pass away. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say, if Molly, if you do see this video, I am so sorry that that happened to you. So yeah, guys, now I'm gonna go in with my second layer of filter by Molly May. Um, again, really impressed with how this tan has gone on my skin. It's um, really evenly applied. Um, I've had no streaks whatsoever on my body. Um, yeah, it's applied so evenly, really nicely. Really, really nice smell. It's fragranced so nicely, because normally they smell like really biscuity. Um, but yeah, really loving this so far, so yeah. But how cute is this little mini mitt? Like I'm literally obsessed, that is actually adorable. Such a good idea, I've never seen one like this before. But it's so good for just like doing your face and your hands and that kind of thing. But I'm literally looking so dark right now, which I love. So I'm gonna let this develop overnight and I'll come back to you guys in the morning uh, before I wash the tan off and show you guys the colour of it then and then after I've washed it off for my final verdict. But so far I'm absolutely loving um, how this applies. Um, it's been really even, really nice colour and yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. I've literally just woken up and this is the colour of my tan this morning. So I've developed overnight and it's a nice kind of bronzed colour. I wasn't going to film this bit because I thought it was a little bit weird, like literally I've just woken up. But you know, got to show them the realness. But yeah. Don't feel like I've got any streaks or anything from what I've seen. It still looks really kind of even. Just there's like a little mark on my head here, but that's probably just where I've like, I sleep on my side, so it's probably just where I've like slept or something. But yeah, like from what I've seen, I don't have any streaks or funny marks on my um, tan or anything. So it still looks really even, nice bronzed colour. So I'm gonna go and wash it off in the shower now. And yeah. I'm gonna do a little sheets test as well for you guys just to show you if it came from my sheets or not. And before anyone says anything, I know my pillowcases are not the same as my duvet. I've got the same pillowcase here, but I just recently bought new pillows and I only had two of this set, so I just found these two. I'm waiting to buy more sheets, but anyway. So yeah, my duvet cover's quite light, but on the inside, there's a little bit of tan here, you can see. And there's like a little bit there on my pillow, but obviously my mattress sheet is black and there's literally, um, Nothing on that, just those little bits I've showed you. And there's my little cat. <laughs> okay guys, so I've just washed my tan off and uh, moisturized my skin and done my like morning skincare routine and all that kind of stuff. And I've just popped the same um, like uh, vest jersey thing that I had on last night, just so you guys can see like the color difference compared to like the same um, clothes. So obviously I am quite a lot more sort of tanned than I was last night. Um, I'm really actually impressed with the colour of this tan. It's come out really nice. Um, it does say for the medium shade that it's like a subtle glow. I wouldn't really call this subtle because it has changed my tone quite a lot. Uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I do really like how dark it's gone. I wouldn't want it to go any darker. So I don't think I'll need to try like, the dark or the extra dark in the future, I'll just stick with the medium. But there are a couple bits what I'm not too sort of happy with, like sort of the edge of my hand, like in between my fingers and on my feet and stuff. But I don't think that's the tan, I just think that's like my own sort of application techniques. Um, obviously, because like I said to you guys at the start of the video, like I'm not um, a religious tanner, like I don't normally fake tan. Um, I used to do it years ago, but I haven't obviously since then, and I've just used that for my sounds men, which isn't like an instant tanner. So obviously once I've perfected my um, sort of techniques on how to apply it, I think it will um, sort of finish off, the finish will be a lot better. Um, it's not that bad, it's literally just a couple bits like on the edge of my, my hands and stuff, but it's nothing that's like crazy. Like the only thing is, is like you can see on my fingers here, like when I put my fingers down, 
you can see like the colour difference and it looks a little bit like tiger red. When my fingers are up like that, like it looks completely fine. But you know, that will sort of wash off within the next um, sort of week or so anyway. It will just fade off each time I wash it. Because obviously your hands, um, you put in water quite a lot because you wash your hands a lot. And then obviously your face, when you wash your face, skincare and stuff. So I think hands and face will be the things that fade the fastest, um, sort of first. Um, but yeah, um, overall, sort of really happy with how this has come out. Um, I'll definitely use it again and purchase from Molly's website again. Um, I was going to end the video here, uh, but I've decided um, to end the video in two days' time on Sunday, which is the day that I'm actually going to pin it up, um, so that I can show you guys like a two days after sort of um, look to see how the tan's lasting. Um, so obviously today is Thursday, I put the tan on last night, Wednesday night. Um, oh, my ring light's just gone off. Yes, yeah, so as I was just saying, um, yeah, I put the tan on last night, Wednesday night. Um, today's Thursday, so no, that wouldn't be Sunday. What I'm talking about is Saturday. Yeah, so I'll, um, yeah, in two days' time on Saturday, I'll do sort of another look just so you guys can see how it's lasting on my skin and um, if it's faded or anything like that. Sorry for the, my ring light, guys. The battery keeps dying. I'm literally in my bathroom and I haven't got a plug in here, so it keeps turning off. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that in two days' time, and then I'll end the video there. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so today is uh, Sunday. So today's actually the day that I'm putting the video up. Um, I know literally in the last part of the video, I just said that I was going to film this bit on Saturday, um, which would be, uh, like, two days after I'd, uh, like, washed the tan off. Um, but honestly, yesterday, the tan still looked really good. There was not really any signs of it fading off or anything, so I thought there's no point in filming that part of the video on that day if it still looked uh, like really good the same. So I thought I'd do it today, um, since I'm putting the video up tonight, just to give you guys a little update on how my tan is coming along. So you can see, obviously, like my face has faded quite a bit um, in these last like four days. Um, yes, yeah, so that'd be Wednesday night I applied it, Thursday morning washed it off. So that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so four days since I applied it, and three since I washed it off, I think. Yeah, anyway, so, um, yes, yeah, so you can see my face has faded quite a bit, but that's obviously due to, like, um, cleansing my face twice a day, skincare routines, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's going to fade quicker than the rest of your body anyway. But that's fine, you know, you can always just re-tan your face midweek, that kind of thing. Um, the rest of my body is still fairly tanned, as you can see. Um... Yeah, I did this again with no top-ons, just so you guys can see, like, what the tan looks like on my skin. And, um, yeah, like, it's still a nice colour. It's faded a little bit, so it's gone a little bit lighter. But as it's faded, I am really impressed with it, because there's been no signs of, like, uh, streaks or it looking really funny as it fades. Because I've seen tans before when they fade, and it literally looks like tiger bread all over your skin. Or, like, some sort of disease or something, because it just goes so weird. So, um... Yeah, this one hasn't done that. It's literally just faded, like, really evenly, which I'm so impressed with. Um, but, yeah, there's literally only just this morning after I've washed again, showered, that I've noticed um, just a couple of signs of the tan starting to fade off properly. So, for example, guys, there's, like, just in my little crease here where the armpit is, there's, like, a couple of lines there and that sort of thing, but I mean, overall, like, the tan is still very much on my skin, it's still very much even, um, the only couple of marks that I'm talking about are literally just, like, really small, minute little marks, um, in, like, the creases of your skin, which you wouldn't really notice anyway, unless you were, like, really, really looking at it, um, but yeah, so, like, like I said, like, very, very happy with how this tan's turned out, really loved the colour, I feel like it's actually lasting, like it does say on the bottle, and I think a lot of it is to do with, like, skin preparations, like the other reviews I've seen on YouTube, some of them were saying that their tan only lasted literally like two days, and um, yeah, I do think a lot of it is to do with how you prep your skin for the tan, so like, I prepped my skin properly, like I exfoliated everywhere beforehand, moisturised those areas that I was talking about at the start of the video, and all that kind of stuff, so I just feel like if you prepare your skin properly, then there's no reason that your tan shouldn't look even and shouldn't last like the length of time that it says it will last. Also guys, I just wanted to show you this quickly. So the mitts were obviously so dirty um, after using them, but I just put a bit of like um, washing powder 
in a like dish with some warm water and just gently rinsed them through and then left them to dry and they're literally good as new like it looks like it's never been used there's no stains no marks on it still feels really nice as well like the velvet and everything so really happy with these mitts they're really good quality so yeah like i just said they're very very easy to clean afterwards which is so good here's the small one so you guys can see that as well literally good as new so very pleased with that so overall guys, I'm really, really happy with the Filter by Molly Mae Tan. I'll definitely be purchasing from her website again. Um, like I said before, I don't feel the need to purchase the Dark or Extra Dark, so I'll definitely be going in to purchase the Medium again. Um, and I'll be using it when I sort of have events to go to and places to go and things like that. It's not something that I'm going to obviously be using just every day because there's like no need for me to. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be using it. I really love the colour, the longevity. Um, like just the way it goes into your skin, everything is just really nice about this tan. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a nice big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below on your thoughts of this video and any other videos that you would like to see on my channel in the future. That is so rude, they keep texting me whilst I'm literally talking to you guys. <laughs> um, yes, oh my god. Um, yeah, so yeah, like I was saying, drop a comment if there's any other videos you would like to see on my channel in the future. And um, yeah, thanks again for all my um, subscribers. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.